Hi, everybody. I'm Steve here again with Nicole. Thanks for being here, Nicole. Thank you for having me. So Nicole is a certified nutritionist and uh, helps people with hormones and gut issues. So um, we're going to have we're going to have fun today. We've been talking about doing this. And what we're going to do is we're each going to pick two different foods. And if you had to eat one, which would it be? Be. All right. So this is going to be funny. So, um, you know, we'll each say what, what we're going to, what, which one we would pick and maybe a little bit why or whatever. Um, so, um, Nicole, why don't you take the first two foods? Okay. What would you eat? A donut or a bagel? I would eat the bagel. Okay. Uh, the, I would... the, the bagel is uh, just because the bagel is not deep fried like a donut is. And, you know, a donut, you've many people have heard me say um, uh, that's the worst thing you can put in your mouth is a donut. And it's basically deep fried in trans fat. It's deep right. fried poison you know, right. deep fried glyphosate in trans fat. So I take the bagel. How about you? I would, I would take the donut if it was in coconut oil. Yeah. You go to the donut <laughs> shop and say, did you deep fry this in coconut oil? No, but I'm with you. The, the deep frying blows it out of the water for me. Like I just, I will never, I'm no bueno on a tran on a seed oil. Yeah, you know that stuff is rancid. Okay, so I got a good one for you. And I might I might actually get you to eat the donut this time. So, oh. yeah, believe it or not, which would you eat if you had to eat a cube of margarine or a donut? The donuts, the one that you get at the donut shop, you know, deep fried all the bad ways that we just talked about. Or a cube of margarine, which would you eat if you had to eat one? I would probably go with the cube of margarine. You would? <laughs> I would. Yeah, I would because I'm telling you, deep fried. And we're not just talking deep fried one time. It's It's been sitting there and they deep fry the donuts over and over again in the sitting there rancid oil. So I'd probably go with margarine. It's just uh, soaked in gunk, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. So, no, and I'll tell you why I'm going with the donut. The, the reason I'm going with the donut, the thing I said, and neither one of us would ever eat either of these, yeah. <laughs> but the, here's the reason why I'm going with the donut. You know, they're, these two things are both so bad that at least the donut's going to be delicious. <laughs> you, know? you got me on that yeah so <laughs> i'm like going you know what i'm gonna enjoy the donut and go well i had to do it <laughs> okay you win <laughs> all right so what's the next one okay a regular coke or an energy drink okay i'm gonna go I'm going to go with the energy drink. I, I mean, again, these are two things we're never going to do. No. Look, and you, you know, you're looking at me, oh, you would do that? Well, you're making me pick one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and look, you didn't say which energy drink it was, so I'd find one of the right. best ones, and I'd, I'd, I'd go with the energy drink over the a regular soda. Okay, interesting. I would, it, without somebody telling me which energy drink I'm with you, um, I would go with the regular Coke because now if they said Diet Coke, I would have went with an energy drink because Diet Coke has tons of bad crap in it. At least with regular Coke, I know my body can withstand some sugar, yeah. so I'd go yeah. with that. Yeah, you're getting a lot of sugar. Okay, yeah. so here's my next one. A bag of potato chips. Okay. You know, that you buy off the grocery store or um, a bowl of breakfast cereal. Potato 
potato chips because you didn't say what kind of potato chips and some nowadays. I said you, a bag oil. of potato chips that you buy off the grocery store shelf. But some are avocado oil now. So I'm going with that one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I'm going with cereal because I wasn't thinking like you were thinking. <laughs> um, a bag of potato chips. I'm, you know, I'm not thinking anything they're trying to make healthy. It's well, they're not going to make it healthy no matter how hard they try, but you're looking at it. We talked about this before. That's a thousand calories that you're going to eat in minutes. So, and normally rancid seed oils. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm going with the, uh, bowl of cereal there, which I would never eat again. Neither one of us would ever eat this. All right. So what do you got next? Okay. Bowl of granola or steel cut oats? A, a bowl of granola? Mm -hmm. Is that like cereal? Like cereal granola though. A, you know, regular wheat granola. Okay. I'm going to throw a little curveball in there. I'm going with the organic steel cut oats. Oh. I, that's exactly what I would have done. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that, that's what I would do. Okay, so, all right. You have to eat one. Which would you eat? A Big Mac or a bag of M&Ms? A Big Mac. Yeah, I'm going to eat the, I'm going to go for the Big Mac too, because at least I'm going to get some protein, right? Exactly, yes. So it's all the sauces and stuff and the junk that's on the Big Mac, you know, but... Yep. Um, who knows what's in the bag of M&Ms? I mean, they taste really good. I used to eat those all the time when I was a kid, but. Well, and now it's a proven fact. Aluminum is in the shell of an M&M. So no bueno. All right. All right. <laughs> next one for you. Okay. A blue raspberry icy or a Starbucks Frappuccino. Hmm. Boy, that's a hard one. Okay. I'm going to go with the Starbucks Frappuccino. Here's why. It's, it's a cold winter day. It's nice and hot. I'll take it out of the plastic. I'll put it in a glass, something. I'm going with the coffee. Oh, this is the one you're totally wrong on. First of all, they're cold. That shows how much you drink these things. <laughs> that shows you how much I never drink those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, a, star, a blue raspberry icy has 24 grams of sugar. A Starbucks Frappuccino has 40 to 60, the majority being 60 grams. Yeah, no doubt it's got the sugar in it and the calories. Mm -hmm. But again, I, I'm like, when they're both bad, I'm going to go with which would I prefer to actually right. drink. So. <laughs> So you're, you're taking the blueberry. Yes, I'm taking the blueberry for sure. Okay. Um, I, I've got a couple more. Which would you eat? Any fast food, deep fried French fry, French, uh, uh, you know, a nice medium sized bag of French fries. Sure. Or, you know, those ice creams they have in the frozen section that are pre-made, you know, and they've got the sugar cone and they've got the chocolate yep. over the top in there in the frozen section. One of those, which would you take the, the French fries or the ice cream cone? Ice cream cone. Yeah. I'm going to take the ice cream cone too. Again, I'm throwing in <laughs> what I'm doing on a lot of these is like, which one am I going to enjoy? Look, if I'm going to eat something really bad, <laughs> which one am I going to like better? You know, so yes. that's kind of yes. helping me make up my mind on some of these. It's like, yeah, I used to eat those when I was a kid. And, hey, I love the French fries, too, but I'm going to go with the special ice cream treat. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Microwaved Hot Pocket or a stovetop mac and cheese? Oh, you know what? You left too many doors open there. <laughs> I mean... I'm going to make a custom made mac and cheese on the stove top. That's a no brainer. I'm going to get an organic. Uh, I'll get, I'll, you know, I'll use some chickpea uh, noodles yeah. 
and I'm going to, you know, put some quality butter in there and organic cheese. Easy. Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm going that's exactly with. Because yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I actually had one of those, but what I would have said is what if it's one of those, you know, instant boxes yeah. where you, everything is mixed and you just heat it up. Now it's a toss up. A box of mac and cheese just because of the microwave versus stove. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so here's my last one. Okay. Um, I think I know. Well, I don't know what you're going to eat. Pick on this. Okay. Um, a package of bacon, the whole package, or a pizza. Got to eat the whole pizza. Uh, say it's medium, a medium pizza. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with the bacon. Cause I'm going to get the nitrate free natural bacon. Yeah. I'm going to go with the bacon too. I'm going with the bacon, uh, yeah. even pizza, you know, I eat pizza sometimes, but it's gluten free and yeah. it's, you know, quality <laughs> ingredients and so on, but there's nothing wrong with the pack of bacon. You're just getting a, kind of a lot of calories, you know, and right. You're going to get the nitrate free and the, you know, the quality fed type animals. So exactly. All right. So what else you got? Okay. One more. I got fudge or a Snickers bar. Mm, okay. So I used to love fudge when I was a kid. I ate a lot of junk when I was a kid, but the junk, <laughs> but the junk wasn't really junk. You know, my mom made the fudge. So I'm going to go with the fudge again, but it's going to be made with organic um, sugar and all quality ingredients. So, yeah, I'm going to get an insulin spike through the roof, but at least I'm going to know how it's made to be homemade. And everything that I can make organic about the fudge is what I would put in it. So I'm going with the fudge. Exactly what I would have done. Plus less ingredients, organic, and not man-made. So, I mean, you know, processed man-made. All right. So this is fun. You guys put in the comment section, I want to know what you would all eat. So each one of these that we did, put in the comment section which one you would pick and maybe why. Absolutely, because, that would be fun. Yeah, this is this is a funny one, and it's tough to pick some of these things. Um, I I can't believe you picked the margarine, a Cuba margarine. <laughs> well, I wasn't going for for taste. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were you going for? Health? <laughs> Just let a little lesser on the health scale. <laughs> scale. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you all know if you've been watching us, Nicole will give you all $100 off if you mention that you saw this video or any of our videos. And also there's a playlist now with Nicole. So you can go see all of our interviews or the most recent ones. There's a playlist there uh, for Nicole and you can see the interviews that we've done. So if they want to find out more about what you do, Nicole, how do they get a hold of you? They can send me an email at the gut girl one at gmail.com and I'll give them all the specifics of what I do. I read labs, I, I tailor a nutrition plan or testing specifically to you based on what we have talked about. Okay. And, um, what if they want to find you on social media? They can find me, um, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram is the gut girl NV. Okay. Uh, we will see you next time, Nicole. Thanks for being here. Thank you.